All right, in this video cheat sheet, we're going to be talking about next hop reachability in an autonomous system. First, we're going to do some baseline show commands to see what the BGP table looks like in the forwarding table. And then we're going to do some uh, do a debug command, and then we're going to configure next hop reachability in two different ways. We're going to propagate the link between autonomous systems in our IGP and then the second way we're going to handle next hop reachability is by setting next hop self on router 6 so that the next hop is the loopback address and not the link between the autonomous systems and then we're going to finish up with some verification commands so let's look at the network prefixes are advertised from router 1 and router 7 into autonomous system 1 through router 2 and router 6 on router 2, we're going to propagate this link address throughout the IGP, in this case it's OSPF, to resolve the next hop reachability. And then on router 6, we're going to rewrite the next hop for all the prefixes that router 6 advertises to its route reflector, router 4, as its own loopback address, which will be 6.6.6.6. .6 so that's how we're going to handle the next hop reachability. And if, if you want to know why this is and the default behavior it will all be covered in the configuration guide. So on router 4 here let's do um, let's look at the show IP BGP output we have a lot of prefixes here from router 7 and from router 1 that are not best which means right here this this greater than is best well the reason that these prefixes are not best is when I do a show IP route for that next top. See, here's the next top, 12.12.12.1. When I do a show IP route for that prefix, the subnet is not in the table. So for anything coming from 12.12.12.1 as the next hop, that's not going to be a, uh, a best route or a route that will make it into the forwarding table because it doesn't have a route to the next hop. And that's also for 67.67.67.7. So that is what we are trying to remedy. So I'm going to do this debug command here for router 6 and we'll come back and look at the output from that later. And then I also want to do a show IP BGP on router 6 to show you that a lot of these prefixes from router 7 um, are valid to router 6 because it's a directly connected uh, interface. This 67.67.67 is directly connected to router 6. So we're going to go over to router 2 and we're going to configure, like I said earlier, we're going to advertise into our IGP, which is OSPF, the link between router 2 and router 1, which will handle the next hop reachability issue for us because the next hop will now be advertised throughout OSPF. And we're going to make the interface passive so that we don't actually form an OSPF adjacency across that link. So then let's go back over to router 4. And I don't know why it keeps lopping off that S. Now a lot, all the prefixes through or to the next top of 12.12.12.1 now are best when before they were not. See, here's another prefix here. And the reason being is router 4 now actually has a route to the next hop. So let's go over to router 6. And I'm going to skip some of this. Let's go to router 2 and uh, do a show IP BGP for prefixes and let's look at prefixes back to router 6 and as you can see we don't have anything coming from router 6 or through router 6 so I'm going to go over to router 6 and I'm going to set the next hop to self so that all prefixes advertised from router 6 to router 4 will now have a next hop of the loopback address of router 6 and if we go over to router 4 we now see 6 as a valid next hop to some of these prefixes. So that is how you configure next hop reachability. You set next hop self so that the next hop is the loopback address of the router that you configured and you also propagate the link between the two routers in your IGP.